All right, I'm going to move a website away from my GoDaddy shared hosting account to a VPS account for the reasons that GoDaddy or really anyone's shared hosting has gotten too slow to be running a legitimate money-making business from. And my job is to generate leads for these contractors, so I can't have a website that that uh, downloads to or opens up too slowly. So log into your account, go to your hosting package. I have two different shared hosting packages with GoDaddy, but very soon I will have none because they're just too slow. Go to your file manager. Let me zoom in here so you can see a little bit better what I'm doing. So scroll down to File Manager, and we have three uh, file folders that we need to back up. All right, we're moving Kennesaw Plumber, KennesawPlumber.biz actually, but the file folder on here is going to be Kennesaw Plumber. Oops, don't need to click that. Just click on there, and we want to go to this WP-Content file folder. And we want to back up the plugins, the themes, and the uploads. This will take a few minutes, so I'm not going to speed anything up. You're going to see it in real time. So what I want to do is archive it, and it will automatically download to my computer. The name of that file folder is plugins. Now I, when I'm backing up and moving usually it's two or three websites or maybe even ten websites at a time and to be able to tell one plugins folder from another I'll put the initials to it which in this case would be um, uh, I'll just call it Ken Plumber or just KP KP I'll put an L on it. KPL Kennesaw Plumber and it will take a few moments for it to download There you go. We're going to back up to themes, archive, and KPL again to just designate it from my other websites that I'm backing up because you don't want to get these mixed up. And last but not least, I want to download the uploads file, which is the file that has. Uh, pictures in it that you may have uploaded to your website. And you want to download it as a zip file. All three of those are zip files. Okay, that's done. Now, go to your website, log in. In this case, I'm already logged in. Let me zoom in on this and go to the plugins and make sure that you have a plugin called WordPress Backup, which I don't. So we're going to install it, and I've got it saved on my heart on my hard drive. WordPress database backup. That's it right there. Install now. That may be an older copy of it. We'll find out in a minute. Activate the copy. Yeah, that's an older copy, but it's called the 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 real name to it is WordPress database backup. It's by Austin whatever his last name, Mats Matsko. And update it to the latest version and that's another thing I do is I typically will update everything to the latest version the latest version of WordPress the latest version of all the plugins uh, and the latest version of the themes now I'll just go ahead and update them now uh, 
again that plugin I guess I activated it didn't I yeah all right it's active when it's active you're going to get under tools a new uh, item called backup and I've only got there sometimes there are several tables here that you can back up as options I want it to download to my computer and you'll see that it backs up rather quickly it's not a gigantic website and it downloads to my computer automatically so I've got the uh, backup of the database and the backup of those three files that go into the contents I am finished with uh, the website as it was with GoDaddy all that's left to do now is to change the uh, name servers and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that while I'm here So this is Kennesaw Plumber .biz. So yeah, Kennesaw Plumber .biz. and we're going to go ahead and change the name servers. Hold on, let me go back here. Well, I've got a copy of it somewhere else. That's what I'm doing off screen here is making a cut and paste of the um, name servers. Custom. Enter custom name servers. Change that one to a one. Okay. And save. Another thing I do is Go in here under, um, I'm going to pull up that custom, I mean that Kennesaw Plumber and rename it. Because I don't want it coming up anymore. It's it's the middle of the night. Nobody's looking for a plumber right this way. Well, they could be, but I'll just worry about it later. I don't like to erase it off of the old service. Uh, I just, I love having the backup there. So I'm going to uh, rename it by simply putting an X in front of it. And so it's still on my GoDaddy account, but if you go and try to pull up the website now, it's not going to show anything. Yep, there you go. Now, I'm going to go over to uh, the hosting package that I'm moving it to, which is a VPS account that I have. And we are going to take this. And also remember now, I've got a www in front of that. A lot of my sites I don't, but you need to, if you're going to move it, you need to move it over to one that has the www in front of it. Or not. All right. So now we're going to add on the domain name. Kennesaw Plumber it propagated all that information in here. I am not, I'm going to generate a password. I'm not going to copy it down because I never have a need for it, but if I were to, I can always just go in and generate a new password. And that creates the domain name. And while that's doing that, it'll take a few seconds. We're going to go, I never save it because there's no need for it. Now I go down to Softaculous. And you can see it's already sent me an email that a new domain name was created. And now I'm going to set up the um, WordPress theme, uh, platform, publishing platform, on that domain name. And remember, it was a www. And it was kennesawplumber.biz. And you don't want to set it into a, a directory. You want to put it straight into the... Um, under the domain name and I'm going to copy this onto a you're going to need this information here WP 648 I'm just going to write it down WP 648 because you're going to need the name of your database in a moment when you go to import the data from the other website 
from the old location. I do not change anything else. I don't even change the name of the blog because all of that's going to be updated when I install, when I update all of the, uh, when I transfer all the information over. So I just go ahead and install it. I don't think you're going to be able to see the website because it still hasn't propagated. No matter how many times I do that, if if um, it'll it'll be about an hour or two from now before this website finally shows up, it, it would still show if I would leave um, if I had not er erased or changed the name of that file folder on GoDaddy. And you may not want to change yours at all. That's just a little thing that I do to keep everything straight in my head. I have w way too many websites. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is go to File Manager. Nope, let me back up to that. Next thing I'm going to do is go down to the PHP My, uh, PHP My Admin, and this is where you import your database. And remember, the database number was 648. This is actually giving it names. Where's that down there? 648. and import there it is WP648 and we're going to go to choose a file and under downloads there's the Kennesaw plumbing website database and open and scroll down and click go and it will import all of the data but you still need to import your themes and your pictures and other things so we can close this window now go back to the file manager and find the website I got two Kennesaw plumbers on this one side I shouldn't have done that and content and here we are going to upload those three files there they are KP, the ones that end in KPL that one's done you don't want to interrupt it themes and uploads okay those three are complete go back to the page by hitting that button there and now you've got there's the three zip files we just uploaded now we're going to extract them and they will automatically like plugins will automatically load into this file folder here so like if I go there now you'll see there's nothing there or there there will be the hello and whatever whatever that is um, let me go up one level and I'm going to extract close now when I go back here you'll see all my plugins back up one level and I don't need this file anymore so I'm going to go ahead and delete it and we're going to extract that one and we're going to delete that one and we're going to extract that one close and delete that one and we're finished now the only issue now is to wait on the uh, website to propagate itself and that will take a couple of hours and that's it